Hey everybody, welcome back to another JavaScript tutorial. This one's going to be very useful. We're going to manipulate manipulate arrays with the push uh, method. Uh, an easy way to append data to the end of an array is, to is via the push function. Uh, push makes uh, one or more parameters and pushes them to the end of an array. So if you have an array that has three numbers inside of it, one, two, and three, and then you go array.push4, your array becomes now one, two, three, four. Push dog comma three onto the end of my array variable. Okay, so let's just dig into this just a little bit before we get started on this because this is super valuable. So if we were to set um, the variable array equal to one, two, three, as they did previously, let's console.log array, right? So here I'm calling the original array. And here we've got one, two, three. Um, let's say now we're going to do array.push4. So we're pushing on the number four. Well, we can't see it down here because we're only console logging it above the push, right? So what we want to do now is we're going to go console.log and we're going to go array. And we're doing this after push. And then if we set the semicolon here, we have the one, two, three, four. This is how push works. It's super valuable. It's used uh, very often. So this is something, essentially push just allows you to add to the end of an array. Um, this is all just me making stuff up. Let's see. Uh, we want to be able to push dog three onto the end of my array. So my array has John 23 and then cat two. And so what we want to say is my array dot push and then inside of the parentheses we're going to copy this value and they want it to be dog three and so now if we were to console dot log my array we should have john 23 cat 2 and then dog 3 dog 3 this is after push let's set this as well before push see now we know now we see cat john 23 cat 2 because that's the original and then after the push it we add on dog 3 so that's what's happening here you're adding to an array um yeah, so I hope this is uh, helpful. Obviously, I'm going into way more detail. They don't even ask you to console log anything. So if I just get rid of these and I run the tests, it should pass. So hope you guys found this useful. We'll see you in the next lesson.